here we are back on this planet called Earth. That's right, Earth. You know, the place where I wear a dress and sweatpants underneath because I think no one can see my legs. That's been my day. How is your day, guys? How is it? I went to a Zoom party. It was cool. It was cool. And I'm currently trying to upload my reaction content and something extremely strange has been happening as I upload these videos. Hello guys, welcome. Who watches my reaction channel? Anyone? Anyone? There's some serious issues right now. Hey Michael, thank you for joining my Patreon. Guys, I also have a Patreon that I have to upload to every single day, so, so you will see me. Today I kinda like, it's just the day got ahead of me. I didn't get to do it and um, I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna do one before I go to bed. That's all. You're up late. I know. Oh, I'm always up late, but normally I try to get, normally right now I'd be titling and tagging my videos, um, but for some reason they're not uploading. It just says waiting. Is that because the internet is so bad here? Steve Calderon, how are you? Good to see you. Steve is great. Steve, can you send me a message? I want to see if you can help me with some stuff. Guys, can anyone help me do stuff right now? Like with my posting? I can't do it anymore. I can't. And I, I don't know where my contact solution is. My eyes are hurting me and I have to take them out. My contacts, not my real eyes. Hope you get it. Hope I get what? Sleep? Find my mind? Return to planet Earth? Which one? I don't know. I don't know. Buy. What do you want to buy? You want to buy my Patreon? Patreon.com slash I want my Lauren. Go there. Do it. Something about a ropa. I'm not sure what that means. What does that mean? Something. Lots of stuff in other languages. All right. Thank you. It's not late. All right, guys. We're going to answer the most common relationship questions right now. That's right. Let's see. Common relationship questions. Dun, dun, dun. Um, help such as like, so I have, uh, oh no, I broke a nail guys. Um, I have to share stuff. Michael, do you have my phone number? Can you just text me? Do you have my number, Michael? I think I gave it to you. Uh, or email me and I will give you my number. Hey Jessica, how are you? Because I've met you in real life and I trust that you say who you say you are. See guys, there. this is like one of my things. Sometimes I get viewers that I don't know if they are who they say they are and it creeps me out. <laughs> it is the creepiest thing ever. Oh, George is coming back in here. George is getting pissed. He's like, oh, there's my mom. My mom is going to bed. Let's see. Okay, George, do you have to take a walk? What are you doing? George is confused. We're gonna go. We're gonna go to the to the living room now. Something I only knew the language of love. Wow, that's a good language to know. Wish I knew that language. <laughs> Hi, mommy. How are you doing? Hi, honey. She doesn't want to be on camera. I can tell. <laughs> she just like <laughs> put the glass in front of her head. All right. It is so hot here. You have no idea. We were watching like a pastor in the background. Did you turn the pastor off, Mom? No. Oh, good. I can go to bed feeling all religious and holy. Nice outfit. I put this necklace on. I found it in the drawer. It was in St. Anthony. It was a St. Anthony card. Oh. Isn't that cool? Yeah. It, that, yeah, the guy was very good. He was giving me strength. Who, St. Anthony? The guy that was preaching. Oh, that's good. <laughs> yeah, you left it on. <laughs> he gave you strength to get up and go to bed? Yeah. <laughs> you don't have strength. God is there to give you strength. You better tell it to my father. I am like me to love for body? What the hell does that mean? I have no idea what that means. Damn, where did my contact solution go, guys? All right, we're going to answer all of your relationship questions as soon as I find the contact solution. Where is it? Is it in the bathroom? Good morning. Good morning, guys. Darkness. Is it under the sink? Where is my contact solution? It's not here. Um, how's the furniture? Where's your dad? And I am... 
Um, I am good. My dad is good. He is upstairs in bed. So not so angry anymore. He actually saw the, the bookshelf and was like, why did you t paint it blue? It's not going to match the house. So that's how, that's the story of my parents. It's like at first they yell and scream, but once you bring the things home, like, like the dog, they didn't want the dog, but once I brought them home, they were like, okay, they were fine. They were fine with it. So, so yeah. And I think my mom likes the, the rocking chair. My dad actually has somebody who's going to come help um, fix the, the, something at the, the house while we're, while we're gone. So somebody's staying there who's like a handy guy. And he's like, oh, I need you to put some screws in our new chair. So he likes the chair. And hopefully we'll be better at fixing it than I was. So that's exciting. I was going to paint it. And he was like, no, Lauren. It's definitely, definitely not. I don't think he trusted me to, to paint the chair myself. To be honest, I think he was just like, I will get somebody who's good at that. So that happened. Paint the house blue. I know. I love blue. Blue is my favorite. Should you see my contact solution, Mom? Or no? No. I'm pretty sure it's upstairs. Pretty sure. Oh, and George looks like very confused. Like, why is she live streaming right now? All right, we're going to do those relationship questions I told you we we're going to do. Okay. Thank God for my Joby truck connect. Okay. Here we go. So she, did you change the channel? No. Oh, that's weird. Oh, Lois. Hi. All right. So we're going to talk. We're going to, we're going to, uh, we're going to go through 53 relationship questions. Oh wait, no. Seven of the deepest relationship questions. Um, dating questions dating questions is better hi guys it's gonna rain on tuesday i know i put something over the chair it was really sad so the bookshelf i painted it rained all night last night and totally messed it up even more so we me and my mother carried it in the house it was kind of heavy i don't think she was too happy about that but we did it um okay uh first date question common dating questions what do you think i should call this Dating advice. I think advice. We can do dating advice right now. I just had a B day. Oh, happy B. Happy B day. Hope you're doing good for your birthday. Birthdays are important. Birthdays are great. Okay. Expert answers your biggest relationship questions. All right. Uh, all right. You're burning your love questions. We surveyed 2,700 participants to uncover the most popular dating questions and topics. All right, let's see. What are the popular ones? Okay, biggest relationship questions about being single. And let's turn the TV off because it's just too much for me right now. It's too much noise. It looks like a good show. What is this show in the background? Oh. I think it's a uh, Madam Secretary. Hi, Sammy. How are you? Oh, you ate pizza for your birthday. That sounds amazing. I love pizza so much, guys. All right, we're going to go through our dating advice questions. All right. All right, the biggest... All right. Here are the biggest questions for singles. Oh, my George. George looks like he wants to go to bed. He's just looking at me like, what are you doing? Can we go to bed? All right, I'm, I'm skipping some of them. All right, about online dating apps. How do you write a good dating profile? All right, so uh, I'm not even gonna look at this because I was contacted by Tinder for having the most sw swiped rights. Somebody from the app actually wrote me and they, was like, they were like, we just wanted to talk to you about how you did your profile because you are very good at it. So one of the books I read during a long time being single was millionaire matchmaker. And although I am not looking for a millionaire because that would just, some people are very, you, if you watch the show, you'd understand. Half of them aren't even millionaires. The other half are, are just, just, it's just weird. I wanna find a guy that I just relate to, whether he has money or not. But anyway, it had a lot of good, like all of these women who were like looking for husbands, they look at it like it's their job. 
<laughs> you know, and that's probably, that's what, that's kind of like, it's like what you're most passionate about, you will get. So if you were so passionate about being in a relationship, finding, you know, your love, you're going to get that because you're passionate about it. If you don't care, it's not, it's, you know, it's, it's just not going to be there. Or who knows? People say that love comes when they don't care. I don't know. I think you have to find a match. Thank you, James, for saying I'm a cool person. When I'm on dating apps and I'm looking at people, I want to make sure they have a good profile picture, okay? It's not, you know, it's not with three or four guys next to them. Because I, I'll tell you, there was a guy that was on a dating app, seemed like really nice, was good looking. But then I looked at a picture and him and one of his friends, like I was like, oh, his friend is really cute. And then I thought about it. I'm like, if I ever meet this best friend of his, it's never going to work out because I automatically like thought the guy was hot because people are looking at dating apps to see like what they find attractive. And if they see you with a bunch of other people, you don't want, you don't want them to have to pick. Okay. Or like try to guess like, oh, which one is the guy or which one is the girl you want to stand out. So every single picture should be about you. And you have to say stuff in your pictures. You have to say, I'm smart, I'm funny, and I'm easygoing. Because if you say otherwise, people aren't going to be interested in it. I mean, honestly, like, just from just being in, just, just looking at all types of dating profiles around the world, I, I, I you, this is about some, you know, don't have, don't have any weapons in your dating profile pictures. You'd think these things are, you know, something you'd understand, but, you know, it's just some people don't get that. Um, don't look really dirty, you know, don't be like in the mud unless it's a funny picture. But even some of those funny pictures, you go to them and you're like, oh, it made me laugh. But do I want to date this guy in a Speedo? I don't think so. Um, pictures of you and other women. I know that the girl, you know, in the picture, some guys will post them with like these gorgeous women. And, and honestly, it's such a turnoff to me when I see that because... I just don't, I look at it and I'm like, I don't want to, you know, if this guy hangs out with this girl, it's going to make me be really jealous. Automatic swipe left. Um, what else? Honestly, I'm not a fan of people who post pictures of their kids in dating pictures. Like it's fine if you have kids, but in your dating pictures, I think it's a little strange to post children there. So I, I, that would, that would, uh, that would bother me. What else? What else? I don't like it when they don't fill out a bio or something about them. Do you have fun being live? Yes, of course, Carrie. I have so much fun. Um, and I didn't go live today, so I, I thought I should. And I thought, let's do something different since I'm not outside on the lake. Let's talk about, let's talk about dating and dating advice questions and um, what we think is a good picture. And for women... Um, and this is something I read in that Millionaire Matchmaker book. Always, always, always get professional photos done. You know, just just always make sure you show yourself in the best light. Because um, it's, it's a competition, basically, you know. It's like a beauty pageant. There's so many people on the app. So you want to just make sure that your pictures are as professional as possible. If you can't afford professional photos, get somebody who cares about you. Like my mom takes really good pictures of you. And usually your parents are... Patient. Find a very patient person to take your pictures. And hey, I don't mind it. I've dated guys with kids. I love kids. But I don't, I, I, I wouldn't, if I had children, I wouldn't want them to be on a dating app. It would just feel weird. I would just, I question like the morals. It's a, like a moral thing, you know. You want to make sure that person is, you know, morally sound. Also, people who put politics in their dating profiles that's a definitely a red flag. I'm like, I can't. It's just like enough with the news. I don't want to like see it on a dating thing. Someone who is a divorced or widowed. I don't think that's, I, I, I don't think you have to tell people that on your dating profile. Um, just because, so this is something that I learned in production. I was, I was interning for this big producer and I was really excited about hiring this person. I was like, oh my God. And I was like calling her and texting her. And he was like, whoa, whoa, Lauren, wait, wait. He's like, Lauren, you just met this person. You're not going to get married. He's like, you just get to know them first. And I think that's really important because you don't want to scare people away. You want to you wanna get to know them first. 
Oh, what did Steven say? I didn't even see what he said, Michael. You can tell me later. Um, all right, let's go to the next thing. Unless anyone has questions about looking for a bone, a bohemian hippie tree. <laughs> What's up, Casey? I see nothing but red flags in the ones I've seen years ago. It's all about like just looking. What's up, Lily? It's all about looking, and it's all numbers game. And you know what? If one doesn't work out, there's a billion people out there. And I really advise everyone to get on dating apps right now because so many people are on them. Everybody's home. So you could just, you could have like a, just a, a, a litter of people to talk to. I don't know what Iraq is like. Do they have dating? Do you have, what, what are the dating apps there? How are you doing today, Lauren? I'm good. I was in Key of Awesome. Keith, do you remember, did you follow me from that? What's up, Al? We're talking, what's up, Robert? I'm drinking my collagen water. I said back on Earth because I felt like I was in another planet for a little bit. Don't marry. I don't know what that means. I like, yeah, it's it's good to, to keep to yourself. Um, the tricky thing, all right, what does a healthy relationship look like? Ooh, I don't know. I feel like a healthy relationship just comes easy and it feels easy. If there's any problems or any drama, like if I have any red flags in the beginning, I'm just like, no, like I have no patience. Okay. How long do you massage and wait before meeting in person? How, 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 I was like, massage? How long do you message and wait before meeting in person? Oh, this person said Lauren, is called Lauren Francis. The gift of dating apps has created a speed of implantation between texting and meeting in real life for most dates. But many daters are skipping an important step in between, the all important phone date. That's because there's so much opportunity to get lost in someone's in inbox. I recommend you message new connections quickly, but make plans to meet up in person only after speaking together on the phone. I, bl I think that's good. As a oh, she's, oh, Lauren Francis. I have to find this, Lauren Francis. We have similar names. That's so weird, guys, that, that the woman on this, this site is, has my name. Um... I never did it on phone meeting. I just think it's weird. I don't like to talk on the phone. I'm not like a phone person. I have to like really be in love with you to want to like talk on the phone to you. It's just very rare. Very, very, very rare. Um, I don't know what to say about that. I don't know if I would like it. I think everyone's different. Um, I like texting. I'm a big texter. Uh, I think that it's good to, like, if a guy sees that I can't meet them right away they, and all they want to do is meet up with you, you know that they don't want to get to know you. They don't care. They're just looking to hook up with you. And that's something, too, you have to, like, maneuver within these dating apps. Like, does this person want a relationship or are they looking for just a fun thing? And it's an, a thing you can talk to people before anything happens is my recommendation. drinking my collagen okay oh how do you build trust in a relationship oh that's a hard one I think it's just being there you know just just always being there when they need you and not breaking that trust is a big one too yeah do you have clothes from India I wish I did I love I, I have I, I love um stuff from India. When I was in London, they had a lot of really cool um, imported stuff there. It was just so expensive. I was like, I'm not paying for their like import fees. Like British pounds are super expensive. Oh, it's an advertising again. Okay. How do you know if it's true love? Let's see what James Pierce said. I have no, this is the person on here. I don't know how you know if it's true love. Otherwise, I'd have it. If you want to be sure it's true love, you need to be together a little while first. If it's less than a few months, it could just be initial lust phase. I think that's true. 
True love is easy when you are both willing to keep working on the relationship no matter what. You accept each other's flaws and can't wait to share your future with them. I believe that. You can be authentic in a relationship, showing your real self. I feel like also it's it's that trust. It's knowing that you can trust that other person to, to really be there if you need them. True love. And then also them always be willing to, to kind of put their foot forward for you and and do stuff for you and you do stuff for them it goes both ways like if it's only one way then it's not an equal relationship yeah i know i know is that dave who just said that in the good old days i totally get that now it's a little creepy you don't know if the people online are who they say they are there's a show called catfish that scares like the life out of you you're like and i did um I did this video with Bart Baker years ago. I don't know if it's still on YouTube because I know like there was like a, a legal issue. Um, but I got hired to act in it and he got hired. He used my um, my Facebook page and made a Tinder account and just like invited all these people over and shot a video. It was, it was, pretty, it was pretty bad, it was pretty bad. Do you personally think that friendship needs love? I think there's love and friendship, but I don't think you have to be in love. I'm friends with a lot of guys that I'm not in love with. Like, I don't, I'm not, like, interested in them like that, but I love them as a friend, and I want to see them do well, and I'm so happy when they do do well. So. Oh, boy. So that's a wrap. Oh, that's a wrap of her questions. They said it was like a hundred questions. That was not a hundred questions. So many of these websites are scammy. Scammy, scammy, scammy. Some girl tried to catfish me using your images. Oh my God. Wow, that's crazy. I hope, guys, if anyone tries to catfish using my pictures, please, please, please um, report them. I'm probably not gonna message you unless like I've met you in real life or you're on my Patreon. Just because it's just weird. It just gets too weird. I get like 10,000 messages a day. And not like normal things. I get like people like just just weird. I get all sorts of weird stuff. Like women, like guys, wives writing me. And I'm like, I've never met your husband. I'm definitely not attracted to him. Like I'm not interested in anyone right now. But like people send me the weirdest messages. Lauren, do you have a body double? Um, I've done some movies where I've had a body or a stunt double. That was just like, I guess, for like different shots where I wasn't around for because it was like a busy shooting day or they didn't want to, I don't know, maybe they didn't want to pay me for another day and like they got like a stunt double or a body double for me. But yeah, but I'm not actually allowed to talk about it. <laughs> so, so yeah. Biggest relation, what is your questions about relationships? Is this what I just looked at? Anyway, at least it wasn't me you brought home. What does that mean? What does that mean? I have no idea. Love you. Love you too, guys. You're all so sweet to me. All right, life advice questions. All right, we're gonna do some life advice questions right now because that's what I'm good at, life advice, you know. Love love doing that life advice thing all right we're doing this right now 55 questions to ask for a better life Ooh. have you ever met Allie Stanton I don't think so no idea who that is should I google her no I'm um, yeah I love you but yeah 55 questions to ask for a better life Let's go through it. Um, what is this? Many people have had deep difficulty or stressful experiences, but learned valuable lessons from them. Is this true from you? What did you learn? I hate thinking about stuff like this. So I feel like when we, we're, we're forced to deal with stressful situations, we're forced to think out of the box. Or think inside and really come to an answer. 
What is something minor or seemingly insignificant in your life that actually contributes greatly to your happiness? Chocolate? <laughs> pizza. <laughs> Wait, no, pizza's way bigger. Anyway. Anyway, all right. I'm not gonna, I'm, I don't wanna, I don't wanna like, but think about my life. We're talking about your life right now, not mine. Um, all right, I'm still, still looking for some questions. These are like weird get to know you kind of questions. Question for your own circle of experts. Okay, cool. If you have friends or relatives in the last third of their lives, ooh, I don't wanna ask the, the last, the, what is this? What links am I? What are some of the most important life lessons you learned over the course of your life? I need to find somebody. I personally think that friendship is more based on mutual respect and mutual trust. I also think that it is important to have compassion and empathy in a friendship. That's very true. That's very true. I'm very worried. One of my oldest friends, her father has been sick and I just I feel so bad for her. I will get your chocolate and pizza. Oh, stop. Stop teasing me right now. I don't know. My dad, we went, um, we went for dinner tonight. We went to Popeye's. And honestly, I was really wanting McDonald's. Late night live stream. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Okay. What kind of advice might you give to others about getting and staying marriage, married? What is the secret of a long marriage? All right, these questions are not for me. Because if anyone, anyone, uh, was, I don't understand that, Casey. <laughs> Lasagna, yes. How do you feel about Jello? I like the pudding, like the chocolate pudding, like that's really good. Um. Popeye's chicken sandwiches. Sometimes, guys, when you say things that are like, uh, like just say specific words, it messes up the live stream. Just letting you know. That's why I don't read it out loud. Ask your mom. She's in bed, guys. It's a late night live stream. All right, here we go. Gal, 20 questions and answers on love, blogging, and business. All right. What's your go-to for banishing self-doubt and defeating thoughts? She said, tapping. What does that mean? Answer, tapping. It's still the best thing I have to do to get out of my emotional funk. Tap dancing. Maybe I should work on some tap dancing. Is that what she meant? I don't know. Okay. Does RSL include taking care of your body? If you love eating junk food and eating is something you enjoy, but I also know it harms me, how do I deal? How do I create a balance? How do I start loving myself to the point of not doing things that are harmful? Ooh, that's self-control, guys. That's a self-control one. Um, and it's okay to have, like, yeah, she, she said the same thing. It's okay to reward yourself. Like, I'll reward myself, but you can't overindulge. And you'll realize you're overindulging when every day it's, like, an ice cream day. Like, okay, ice cream only happens, like, once a month, okay? It can't be every day. Because if it's every day, then I'm not going to fit in my clothes anymore. Okay. Alright. And remember, it is a gradual process. Most people don't wake up one day and completely transform their habits. That's true. It is an everyday pr pr process. And it's like, you can't just snap your fingers and everything be different. For sure. Oh. How scary was it for you moving to NYC? Um, I'm gonna change that to LA. It was very scary and very lonely. Um, when I moved, I moved in with an ex-boyfriend and I didn't have that many friends there. So it was really overwhelming, but I was just like, I was doing it, you know? And I made friends as I went. You just had to, it was like a holding your breath type of thing. But I miss my family, you know? I really miss my family when I live there. That's one thing that, that is hard, but during the winter time when it's snowing, it's definitely nice to have that like escape. And when you go there, it just feels like you're in this dream world, LA. On deck, that's right, I'm here. Anyway, what do you eat like daily? Eggs, 
uh, grilled cheese, and then like, you know, pizza or pasta really for dinner. I love cookies, Casey. I love cookies too. Don't talk about food. No more, no more food talk, guys. Now I want cookies. Move to Southeast. Where? Where are you talking about oil prices? I don't even see that. I was trying to, I was waiting, honestly, I have to uh, title and tag. Oh, did they finally get uploaded? That took forever. I was uploading my videos and it took so long. Oh, so long. So stay in New Jersey. I'm not, I'm in New York. It's hard for me to move till it came back out. It was hard, it's hard, Michael, because it's very lonely. What is this going on? What happened to this channel? I got a new YouTube manager. Why are my videos not trying to, not automatically monetizing life? Uh, what is your favorite food? Italian and then Indian and then Thai food. And actually, Italian and then Indian and then Mexican and then Thai food. And then Chinese food. I know Chinese, like, it just, I really depends. Like, I hate to list them, you know? Italian, because I am Italian. Um, Indian, because, I mean, chicken tiki marsala and saj, saj paneer. It's like, just like saying it makes my mouth water um filipino food is really good as well except the only thing is they have some like weird things like weird animals i don't want to eat so like i i just i get scared because my friends are always like laughing like oh you want to try the balut and i'm like no I'm like why would you say why would you just say try to punk you you know and i'm like i know what that is you're from virginia i was baptized there i've talked about this before oh why aren't these any, why aren't these like asking me to monetize them? So weird, so weird. Um, how important is, uh, com is compatibility in a relationship or having things in common? Andy, I think it's important to have things in common with the person that you're with, but then I also think it's important to have enough things that are different because a lot of times if you're too similar, it's just too much. Like, I don't want to date myself. I want somebody who's going to teach me things and things I can, like, learn from and they can learn from me. Where have you been? I've been to New Jersey. It felt like another planet. I love New Jersey, though. It's really pretty there. But it does feel like another planet. Communication. Yeah, that I think that is most more important than compatibility. Communication. Because you can be, like, so compatible... But if you're dating somebody who can't communicate, it's just a waste. I've dated, I've dated, I dated a guy who just like, I, he was, he would be feeling things and he would hold, like lock them inside and he just wouldn't talk about it until like it would explode. So it just wasn't good. You have to like be able to, to communicate for sure. Okay. No more talking about food, Michael. I'm so hungry right now. I'm not even, I ate Popeye's chicken. I don't know why I'm hungry. Why am I hungry right now? I have no idea no idea i can teach you how to to grow what style what are you talking about indian food i have i never had indian food and when it's so good yeah for a while like i never tried indian food i was always scared i'm scared of like i'm just scared of food like food like i don't eat fish like like some fish i was just scared to eat it and when my friends brought me and I tried it and I was like, oh my God, this is good. Same thing about sushi. I was terrified to eat sushi. I was like, raw fish, ew. But then, then you have it and you're like, oh, this is, this is amazing. I want to have this every day. When you have respect for each other, everything else will fall in place. That's true, Lois. That's maybe that's my problem. <laughs> maybe that's my problem. It's hard. I am, I am afraid of being in a relationship with someone because I have been emotionally oh I'm sorry Lily I'm so sorry I saw this TikTok one of my friends my friend Jacqueline posted Jacqueline Glenn she's a big YouTuber and she posted it was like it was she's like she kept dating these guys who were telling her that she was crazy and then she went to a therapist and she's like no you're just dating jerks and now you have PTSD it's like that's it's a true thing a lot of women feel like it but but a happy ending to to jack jacqueline's story i watched her go through like the the worst 
some of the worst breakups and I mean I've had really bad ones too but she just she went through a really bad one with a guy who like just was a jerk just total jerk and she met like the love of her life after that so I mean thank I know it sucks but thank god she didn't like end up with that other one because then she wouldn't have met such a nice guy so I guess oh you're from Australia do you watch the show um what's it called offspring it's my new favorite show my new favorite show I hope not Phil I love my tiktok <laughs> it's so much fun me and my mom have so much fun making them it's just it's just a lot of fun <laughs> I really hope it's not banned I don't know do you guys really think it's gonna be banned a lot of you I think it's not just men I think it's men and women can be bad don't just give it you know give it to other men but men and women and you know a lot of people are right now there's just so much out there people cheat it's, it's scary it's scary times it's important to believe in yourself thank you Lois that's it's hard sometimes but you have to do it Lois is good she's like a motivational speaker when I when I need motivation just ask Lois oh nice guys nice nice so I'm just going through I have to wake up early you love watching my TikToks. thank you guys I actually should post some of them on here I have to wake up early. I have to go through and schedule my videos. I am exhausted. That's what I do every day. They're like, what do you do? So my, this is my schedule. I, um, I shoot my videos. I eat. I walk my dog. And then I shoot my TikToks. And then I do a live stream. And then I do a Patreon. And then I shoot more videos. It got bought. Oh, did it get bought out now? I haven't been able to be in a relationship. I found it the love. Oh, wow, Keith. You know, Keith, that's... Oh, Angie, how are you? I miss you. I was thinking about calling you today. Keith, I am so sorry that it happened. And I'm so, I'm so grateful that, that you didn't do it. And I know a lot of people especially right now it's been really hard um i have i know a few people who have done that and it's just not it's it's not um it's just not worth it you don't know what happens you know after after that number one and number two life is so precious and we all have such a gift to have it to give somebody else that power is just you can't do it so thank god you're okay and 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 just you know that that one second of sadness isn't worth worth a whole book of happiness that's one thing that i always there's like a quote that i really like it's like that you know everyone has has sad pages in their book but for that one sad page there's like 20 happy ones so stay positive guys and if you guys ever need to talk you know i'm here or you can you know there's a hotlines that you can call if you have family members like don't ever be afraid to talk about it definitely and i'm sorry you went through that i know i know it's it's such life is such a gift it really is it really is and just it can be scary you know it can be really scary but guys i love you all so much thank you for 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 watching oh thank you Allie. thank you it's just yeah when i see you know a lot of people right now are, are suffering it's hard just being alone is hard during this quarantine so i hope you guys are all well i have to finish doing uploading my videos and it's late here in new york city but i will be back tomorrow and thank you guys for for being so supportive to me thank you guys thank you keith for watching my videos and i hope that i can make you guys all smile kim stay positive you'll find somebody soon and yeah. All right. Love you guys. Thank you for coming. Bye.